Let me ask you guys this. Do you lose on the Haven more often than you want to? All right, we gotta fix that mental block and give you some tools to better help you win this unique three bomb site. What's going on guys? I'm Keith Allen, your motivation guy. And today, I'm excited to share with you tips that can really spice up your Haven gameplay and get you more wins. So hit that sub button and let's get this going. So like we've mentioned already, all right, Haven being a three bomb side map means that you have the options on both the attack and defender side to play more crafty. All right, so with five defenders, it's nearly impossible to hold all three bomb sides for too long as the attackers will have a higher chance of just, you know, running into smaller body counts to deal with. So this means, guys, the defenders have a higher opportunity to play aggressively and attackers have a higher opportunity to slow down the pace of the round. You know, Haven is also a very small map, so things can really happen in the blink of an eye if you're not paying attention. Let me ask you guys this question. Have you guys ever heard of the term that the best defense is a good offense? Well, this very much applies to Haven. Like I previously mentioned, because of the three bomb site layout, you know, it's imperative that you find earlier information so that you can just properly rotate accordingly. So we're going to be covering how to find info early and when to find key information in the mid round or late round. So keeping your players spread out on Haven defense will often result in a bomb site getting overrun. So let's start with early info, which is the most crucial part of the game as many teams in ranked will want to take control of areas early and fast. All right, so being the player that is comfortable putting themselves out there to obtain that type of information will let you and your team rotate early and flank or even stack sites, which greatly increases your chances of winning defensive rounds. You know, agents that have abilities that allow them to safely obtain info are obviously great here. But that doesn't mean that those are the only agents that can do that. For reference, like, we'll talk about how you can obtain early info at sea for your team, you know, regardless of the agent you're playing. If you're playing something like Raze or Sky or Soba or Cypher, they all have at least one tool to get early info. Raze can send a Boombot down, C-Long, Sky can flash C-Long, Sova can dart a drone, and Cypher can get a deep camera for early info. Let me ask you this, but what about the rest of the Asian lineup? How can they do it? Agents like Jet Arena can really walk down C long and peak early because they have dashes that can really get them out. Omen can smoke bottom of C long and just jump spot from on top of default box. Flash agents like Phoenix or Breach can flash a few seconds after the round starts and, you know, physically peak to obtain info. An agent like Killjoy can put an early alarm bot deep in C long once the barrier goes down. So these are just a few ways, but you know, if you're able to get creative, <laughs> there are plenty of other ways as well. So by taking the proactive initiative and really attempting to find early info where you are playing, you alleviate the pressure and really allow you and your team to have a better understanding of what the attackers are really doing. And if everyone is too scared to find information around the map, people will be sitting around waiting for the attackers to coordinate a push. And sometimes you and your team will successfully hold them back even with a few players, but this isn't a super consistent way to win on Haven. So you guys gotta keep that in mind. All right, so watch any of your favorite pro players in rank, and most of them are trying to do something early to get info. Sometimes they'll get punished for it, and sometimes they'll even get kills. But the core reason behind it is really to find out the crucial information. All right, so let's just say that you know the enemy team is leaning heavily towards the A side of the map. You can rotate early to help your teammates. However, okay, a big mistake is staying stacked for too long. You know, at some point, someone will need to obtain information with utility or by physically peeking. And so in this situation, you can peek sewers or a long and, you know, maybe just follow the enemies if they're rotating. Bonus points if you do this with a teammate. Like, if you're not comfortable doing that, you know, you have to rotate back if nothing is happening. Again, Haven is a small map, and, you know, if you don't rotate early enough or rotate back fast enough, the attackers can really find great timings on your team's over eagerness, all right? So if you guys want even more specifics on how you gather information on your agent, you guys have to schedule a session at ProGuys.com, where our coaches are more than happy to help you guys out. All right, chat them up and just see, you know, who works with you the best. All right, guys, so before we get into the rest of the tips, we got our question of the day. Have you guys been watching BCT Masters? If so, who do you guys have winning the entire thing? All right, so we think the Sentinels and FaZe are the two contenders to really win it all. Both teams are really looking extra strong, even with Sentinels losing their star player, Sinatra, and really subbing in Tens. You know, it's clear that Sentinels has a great structure, and Tens has just quickly found his footing in the roster. So I'm really excited to see those two teams really clash next. However, okay, I'm not sleeping on teams like Envy or 100 Thieves and LG, who could pull through and potentially win it as well. All right, so let us know if you're watching BCT as well and who you guys believe will win this very stacked tournament.
Haven is a map that has some very great wall bangable spots that you're going to want to learn ASAP. All right, I'm going to first show you some of the ones that you're going to want to know on the attacker side. And then, all right, we'll be able to move on to the defender side. So the first one that you're going to want to know is the garage wall bangable spots. Spraying the garage door early can be a big way to really pressure the defenders from playing close in garage. You're also going to want to know how to wall bang this cheeky spot in garage by shooting this part of the box, as well as wall banging the corners of the garage window, which, you know, a lot of defenders will opt to play at. You gotta use your intuition here. You know, you don't need to really just keep wall banging these spots once you have a better understanding of where the enemies tend to play. You can really start up doing this and then lay off on the amount that you're doing. All right, so if you show the enemy that you will wall bang these spots or you've killed them with the wall bang, they will be much less likely to replay in those positions. And so the last one that I wanna show you guys on the attacker side is wall banging a haven. So if you're not sure where the edges of a haven are, you can always just mark them on your map for easier visualization. So you're gonna sometimes wanna wall bang these spots, especially if a player likes to give up side control and just play up there. So by doing this, you're gonna make it harder for that player to do anything funny against you or your team. And on the flip side, knowing wall bangs for a garage on the defender side is important as well. Like if you break the left door early from garage window, you can just sometimes get chip damage on players aggressing grass early. And if you have Ares or Odin, this becomes even more effective. So the wall bang that you're gonna wanna know is the mid window one. And this entire area is wall bangable. So by pressuring this early, you know, you might persuade the enemy team to never wanna peek from mid window, which is a very powerful thing. So this is a mistake that I see a lot of players make on Haven, and it's often gonna cost them rounds. Again, because Haven is a small map with a lot of tight range angles, you're gonna wanna group up and just hit a site together when the enemy team doesn't have a great buy. Specifically, C site is a great option because challenging C long with the shotgun, sheriff, or other eco buys will usually be favorable for your team. You know, I see too many teams get lazy when the enemy team is buying buckies and sheriffs and just often just run right into them. For example, garage A sewers, back of C side and B side are all prime areas for those types of guns. So guys, make sure that you try grouping up and hitting C site together from C long on these, you know, types of rounds. You know, use some smokes, flashes, and maybe a drone, and the round should be free for the taking, all right? Lastly, if you're playing defense on a Haven, this goes both ways. All right, make sure that you're abusing the Bucky on this map due to the tighter and closer range angles that Haven affords the defenders. If you can master that weapon, man, you're gonna be surprised at how scary it can really be. You know, you could do this at B side or A side, but you know, I've noticed that based on how these sites are designed, it's hardest for the defenders to stop a push at C with bad buys and weapons. So alongside trying to find information early, you can couple this with an aggressive push down. And I will show you how you can slowly, you know, push down at the start of the round to find great openings. You know, it's really important guys that you do this as a mix up because, you know, it's just easily punishable if they expect it. So starting off at A long, you can cross over and just hide near cinder or, you know, even hug this right wall as you push up. If you see nothing, you can fall off or even tuck yourself in this corner. So if you're coming from A sewer side, you can actually run down sewers and just swing A main. If you have a teammate flashing from long or darting A main, this will make it even better for you. The next is the mid push down. This is, you know, our personal favorite as one that you'll usually catch players working the grass area off guard. And lastly, the C long push down can be done in two ways. You can hug the right wall to get an early peek or hug the left wall to potentially just tuck yourself into C long cubby. If you're able to pull off these type of plays, you're gonna create a lot of pressure for the enemy team to start being ready for you to do them again. And so with these types of plays in their head now, it makes it easier for you to dictate the pace of each round as they're gonna just be more heavy hesitant to take things extremely fast. Okay, so this mistake is something that I see on every map on the attacker side, but it seems to hurt the most on Haven. So these two options that you're gonna wanna understand are when you find a pick grouping up and taking that space or, you know, grouping up and doing someplace else. For example, if you find a pick at the garage area, you can use that opportunity to take C site. And if you can find one around mid, you can maybe quick plan B site. The key is to group here, and if your team is spread out, you're gonna wanna communicate this. So saying things like, okay, let's group and take this site, or let's regroup, fall back and take this site. And if you don't mention this, oftentimes players will keep doing their own thing and often lose the initial pig lead. With three bomb sites, the defenders are in bigger trouble if you do group as many of them are spread out very thin on Haven. 
Lastly, keep in mind that rotations are very fast in this map. So if you think they'll rotate to help deal with your aggression, you have plenty of time to go someplace else. And oftentimes, you can pressure on site, fall off pressure another, and still have time to re-hit another site. You know, here at Pro Guides, you know, our goal is really to help you guys feel more comfortable with all the maps that Valorant has to offer. So if you guys enjoyed this type of video, let us know which map that you like us to cover next. And also, if you guys like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. We have so much more amazing content coming out. And also, I would love to connect with you on my Instagram at Your Motivation Guy. Hey, keep up the grind, never quit. I'll see you soon.